In this video, I want to talk about which Pokemon should be banned in draft in case you get a draft game and you're banning and you're wondering what I should be banning. Some people start panicking as well because they're really not sure what to ban. So I hope this video helps you in case you get on the scenario of a draft game and you're also in a position to be able to ban a Pokemon. First one, as you can see, is going to be a Buzzful. Buzzful is super frustrating to play against in general. It destroys any squishies, any melees. Even tank Pokemon have a hard time into it because you just get super powered, you get smacked, you get super powered out again suddenly in the enemy team and you're gonna get taken down and bursted down so much damage so much cc in a single combo and in tournaments it's much easier to deal with it because you can kind of gank his lane a lot but like in solo queue games it can be quite quite difficult as you know the game is much more uncoordinated and if your team ends up picking bad pokemon into bus wall the game might just be over it like it snowboards games so insanely fast just by getting you know superpower on level five you get every last hit, you have instant CC, a lot of damage, and it's very difficult to be up against. Second one, I think it still has to be Mewtwo, just because you also get two bans for one. So if you ban either Y or X, both of them get banned at the same time. It's still a great change that Timmy did. Honestly, I expect them to only be like, you have to ban both at the same time. But no, you ban one Mewtwo, both Y and X get banned at the same time. So it's pretty much double value right as well in a ban. So pretty, pretty nice that this exists, and Mewtwo Y is still very, very strong, currently the highest win rate Pokemon in the entire game. Mewtwo X can also still be quite frustrating with point and click CC being quite tanky. So I think Mewtwo in general is still a great choice if it's still open to banned. Um, currently, I think, I guess the strongest EX Pokemon there is. Next up on number three, I would go for Mioscarada, potentially. It is very, very strong in solo queue, very strong in ranked in general. It can go multiple different builds, so in draft it's even more powerful because you can kind of adjust. You can either go for Night Slash, Trailblaze, or you can go for Flower Trick and a double team, depending on what the enemy team has. The Unite move can just wipe entire teams very, very fast, and then it also has a very annoying passive that you have to deal with that pretty much gets Musquerada a free out of J card in almost every single team fight. It can lane, it can go central, it's very flexible as well in draft because you can always decide, oh, I want to go jungle now, I want to go lane, everything works. And general, I think, is a great ban currently. Also because there's a lot of people who actually play Mios Gerada, so great choice. Next one, on number four, might be a bit of an uh, interesting topic. It's not going to be Miraidon, I would say a Blastoise. Blastoise, similar to Buzzwool, just does way too much damage in a stun combo, but also stunning you for so, so long. Actually, a few days ago on Twitter, if you haven't followed me on Twitter yet, I would appreciate that as well. I made a poll asking people if they had a choice between banning Maraidon and Blastoise, which one would they ban? 48% went for Blastoise, 52 for Maraidon, which I think is honestly, I expected it to be more into Maraidon's favor, as I feel like a lot of people are still like, GX Pokemon has to be banned, and Maraidon is definitely strong, but I do think I have much easier time dealing with Maraidon than Blastoise. Blastoise has the best Unite move almost in the entire game with the Jack Button combo. It is so difficult to be up against. It can, you know, the side team fight so fast, especially in late game too. You can't get away from it as well because the jack button exists, right? Even if you have your distance to it, you're going to probably go down to it. You're going to get hit by it. Surf Hydro Pump is just <laughs> surmounted. Like, the time it just stuns you, right? If you play as well any melee into Blastoise or Buzzwoy, you just notice how frustrating it is to play the game. And it just does also has good laning phase, right? It's a... Defender that has ranged basic attacks and you're just gonna get auto attack the entire laning phase over and over again It has good last hitting with water gun on level 5 with hydro pump It has good last hitting and even if you play tank items or something you can still do just criminal amounts of damage on this Pokemon So yeah Blastoise I would still ban over Maridon. So Maridon, I don't even know makes number 5 in this list for now Um Charge Beam is kind of bad now, I would say. Like, it's nothing too amazing. Electro Drift, of course, is very strong. And you can see me also making a lot of happen with Electro Drift, right? But I just don't think it's band worthy still. I think Electro Drift is quite difficult to play. It's pretty projected what's going to happen. It has a long wind up time. Is it S tier? Yes. Would I ban it? Probably not, just because other, other Pokemon, I think, just make the game a bit more unfun. So then we come to number five. Now it could be right on, but I think I would still ban if you want to have another ban. You know, if you just, you are like, oh, I don't care about Blastoise being banned. I don't care about Muscarada being banned. Then I think Leafeon is also a great choice. Leafeon is so frustrating to be up against. It's so strong in level 4 already that you can't do much about it. it, it it's gonna just like bust with snowball games after level 4 so, so fast 
that you don't really have a chance against it. <laughs> it's it's quiet how much Leaf Hinders will have for. Doesn't matter if it goes for Razor Leaf, doesn't matter if it goes for Solar Blade. You're just not going to get any last hits anymore. You're just not going to get any last hits. It, it can even Unite move you maybe at the first Ataria fight a mid already. Unite move you again on the bot objective. So it's definitely another choice you can do. And yeah, it's there's a lot of Leafeon players, right? Like whenever I play Draft, Leafeon is pretty much first picked instantly. People are just going to first pick Leafeon and that's it. Especially when, you know, Buzzful is banned, Blastoise is banned, Mewtwo is banned. People will first pick Leafeon a lot of times. So another thing you can consider, definitely... Again, I would still ban probably Buzzwool and Blastoise over it. But again, if you don't like playing against Leafeon, it's definitely a very good ban. And then for the last one, I will still chose Miraidon, I guess. I mean, we only have four bans, but you know, in case you get a bit of a choice, I think only the first two should really be maybe perm banned or Buzzwool should be banned every single game. And the other ones, the other five I mentioned, kind of can be banned pretty much on the same level. But yeah, Miraidon, I'm not a big fan of banning it. I just don't think it's ban worthy in any shape or form. Um, of course, I mean, I played a lot. I played a lot of Electro Drift and it does feel very strong, but again, it does have clear weaknesses. But in the end, it still has a lot of damage. It has a lot of mobility. Its Unite move is actually much more powerful now. The Charge Beam... It's actually funny. Now that Charge Beam got nerfed, you notice how powerful the Unite move is because back when Charge Beam was OP, using your Unite move actually just made you lose damage, I feel like, right? So because you couldn't Charge Beam when you when you Unite move and the Charge Beam just did so much. But now that Charge Beam is gone, and was playing normal Electro Drift, the Unite move does a lot of damage and is also very, very annoying. But if you ban Miraidon because you're scared of Charge Beam, please don't anymore. Charge Beam is very mid now. It's just an average a solid attacker. Nothing special. Probably somewhere like B+. Plus, or I probably still A tier maybe. Um, Electro Drift is S tier. So if you're scared of Electro Drift and you think, yeah, this just does way too much, then you go for it. Another way to ban Pokemon is if you recognize someone on the enemy team who only plays like one Pokemon, right? If you know them, if you've played with them before, they're like, oh, they only play Comfey. You can do those bans as well. Definitely. So if the enemies have like a very good, I don't know, uh, Comfey, or like they just, just have like a duo queue of Comfey that always play Comfey together, um, you definitely can ban Comfey in those scenarios, especially in Europe as well. There are a lot of people who just permanently duo or trio with Comfeys. And if you recognize the names and you're like, yeah, I'm not going to deal with Comfey this time, 100% a great ban that I would still recommend uh, too. So that's happened. Yeah, I mean, I don't know which regions this happens a lot, but in Europe, there's a lot of duos and trios who pretty much only play Comfey. You have so many Comfeys with like 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 games. It is criminal. So if you recognize someone on the enemy team, you're like, yep, yeah, I know this person. They only play this Pokemon. Um... Then, yeah, go ban it. I'm gonna leave you with the rest of this uh, final stretch now. Hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. Let me know in the comments what your favorite ban is. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel.